When completed in 1935, Hoover Dam was called the eighth wonder of the world. Rising 221 meters, it contains six million tons of concrete, enough to pave a road from New York to Los Angeles. A gigantic concrete pyramid wedged in a desolate canyon straddling the Nevada-Arizona border, 56 kilometers from Las Vegas. The reservoir created by Hoover Dam, Lake Mead, covers 620 square kilometers and has a storage capacity of over 35 trillion liters, enough to cover the entire state of New York in 30 centimeters of water. Hoover's hydroelectric power plant has 17 generators capable of producing 2 million kilowatts of electricity, enough for 1.7 million homes. In sum, a gargantuan public works enterprise. I think it's one of the examples of an engineering project where a group of people came together and achieved a very advanced goal as far as the quality of thinking through engineering from beginning to end. Now, what if Hoover Dam were built today? What changes would engineers make? And what would they do the same? Would the dam have the same design? Could the reservoir store more water? Could the power plant make more electricity? And what about the environment above and below the dam? They really didn't have a sense in the 1930s of ecology and what kind of damage might be done that they couldn't even imagine. They've only begun to realize that in later years. There's this ridge here and this ridge here that are huge natural abutments. We asked an elite team of engineers, hydrologists, biologists, and dam construction experts to consider these questions and tell us how they would reinvent Hoover Dam. To begin this complex reinvention, one must first imagine the location before Hoover Dam was built. 